Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Your settings have been saved. You have a message from Alola's Regis on Professor Kakui. What's good, guys? Shiraka Zixi talking to you right now. Welcome back to another new series onto the channel, the Pokemon Ultra Moon Wonderlock. Last year we did the Pokemon Sun Wonderlock. Today we're going to begin doing the Pokemon Ultra Moon Wonderlock. So if you're happy to have some, the very first episode, make sure that like button is pushed with great appreciate the channel because it's been a good long time since I had a good commentary let's play like this. So, time for me to lose my voice. <clears throat> Hang on now, give me just a sec. Wait a minute. Nah, I don't want to mess with the screen right now. Hey there, good evening. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah! There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mystery, mysterious creatures. You will find them all over. In the grass, in the caves, in the sky, in the sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon Trainers. Rock Ruff, Cutie Fly, I'll play with you later, so cool your jets. Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? I think in Sun and Moon it was a... In Sun and Moon it was... It was just rock rough, that's all, but no cutie fly at all. But yeah, let's go with this. We did boy boy is just personal excuse me. Personal stuff, girls, I just wanna do it, why not? Biddy Wait, what did we name ourselves last time? Oh Wait, we did name ourselves Luna last time, didn't we? Didn't we name ourselves Luna? Yeah, I think so. Did we? I it's been a good year since I touched it, since I did this, so Luna? No. Let's go with Yeah, I think it was Luna. I I can't remember, so let's go. Let's go. But since it's the moon, yeah, why not? Cuz I can't think of a a, a, a girl version name with, with sun on it. But yeah, no face cam at all, ladies and gentlemen. I do not do that, sir. I do not own a freaking webcam. Yeah, this is what they, they added. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a drop kick right to the head. Whoo! Can't wait to see you in person, then, cousin. But yeah, what's if you're new to this channel, the name Struck is X TV. I do a very, various variety type of gameplays. Luna, come help me with these boxes. Oh, cutscene time, which was kind of added to his, into the game. I'll fully, I'll fully explain myself later. Did they add a dialogue to this, or did you just say get her, or I don't remember. But yeah, this is basically the same thing, but added with a little features to it. That's all it is. They say it was said that Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. There it is. In the regular version, it should be two Ether Foundation members, but these two are not Ether Foundation members. What they're called? Ultra Recon Squad or something like that? When, the, when Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out, I played Ultra Sun a bit, but I really didn't beat the game at all because I was... If you haven't seen the channel update, I was really burnt out to play any video games, so... Three months later, that's basically the time spent from November till now. This is, should be where we move, and the prologue, in all prologues, in, in Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, it starts off the, in Sun version, you get the daytime, 
In the moon version, you get the night time, but as soon as the game progresses, as soon as you beat the prologue, you it's changed to what time it ever it is. So if it's 10:41 p.m. as of right now as I'm recording this, if we beat the prologue, it will be daytime because in the sun version, 10:41 p.m. is actually nighttime, but in the moon version, that's actually the daytime. Ah, could be could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under Alola's calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. But that's enough that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meow, go get Luna for me, would you? Let's see how much rage I can get in this game because I know they the Game Freak up the spike level in this game, so So yeah, since I did not complete it, Ultra Sun, so Half of it is gonna be a major guess, but still, it's still the same thing with a few twists here and there that you would not expect. So yeah, I, I do know some of the things, but like basically from point A to to the Akala Island, like everything all the way up to when we head to the Aether Foundation is basically the same thing. After that, everything's added a few twists. Alright, time to get up. Hey, our hat. Now, one thing I was kind of hoping they would change in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon was the mechanics, such as why we were, we were so stiff. Um, why if they changed the character's face reaction, we didn't even put up our hat. Yo, can we actually? You're out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. And just look, it's already nighttime here. It's completely the opposite of Canton. And then, we are so far away here in Alola. So Luna, are you excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Yeah, I am. Yeah, it was Luna. That's right, I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in Alola region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? It might not be a bad idea to go out and see for yourself just how friendly Pokemon here are. Right, Luna? Go and get ready. Ah, oh, damn it! So much for getting out without it. Alrighty then. I thought we can get away without the freaking hat. I was about to say, that's the first time I've seen the freaking... Isn't that... What's the... It's probably me out tour or something. Pretty much, uh, as for the character's design, the hairstyle and all that, I'm not gonna change anything because when I did the boys, yeah, it's the same haircuts. They only added this feature, that's all. Which kind of sad, really. I was expecting more, but no. Now, you look ready for anything. Oh, but even so, Luna, try to be careful walking through the tall grass. Still, I have to admit, I love to have a new Pokemon around. Why don't you head up toward Iki Town and see what you, you discover in Alola? I think we don't have access to the the Wonder Trade system until a certain point. I am not quite too sure. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure what point that is until we actually have access. Okay, where are I supposed to? Oh yeah, this is. Yeah, this is kind of weird because they gave us the Pokemon starters at this point right here. Watch it, cuz! It's dangerous to get too close to a Pokemon when it's using one of its moves. Was it here? No? Or was it in the middle? Yeah, I think it's through here. Is that a Murkrow? I do not remember some of the features. Yeah, was it here? Yeah, something is coming at you from the tall grass. A young goose. Hey, Trump. Trump Jr. Yeah, this is like a few things that were changed. This was part of it. I wish I could do the voices right now at a certain voice level, but uh, I can't do a high pitch. I can only do a deep voice. I have no idea why. I've been sick for a while and my throat's never been the same ever since. Yeah, 
Did I ever do anything to this? I don't know. Hey there, cousin! Hang on, I know you. You're Luna, right? Uh, you, okay? I saw you You get attacked like that. I was scared spitless. You and me both, cousin. I'm looking after these Pokemon, but they dash right out on their own to save you. But I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kukui, yeah, the Pokemon Professor. People of Pokemon live and work together here in Alola, too. Don't you ever forget, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon in your corner. Wild Pokemon could be lurking the tall grass, yeah, just waiting to leap out and bite you, but you'll be fine if you got a partner on your own, of your own. Hey there! Here, let me introduce you to the Pokemon that helped you just now. This is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. Fire type, Litten. Water type, Popplio. You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner too. Woo! <laughs> Maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on, choose the one you like to keep as your partner, cousin. In Sun and Moon, before we had to do anything, we had to do it. We have to meet Lily first. And I just. <coughs> I'm just closing my eyes on this, even though you guys can see it, so let's go. We got a rallet. Alright. But yeah, um, the rules of the Wonder Logs down in the description, I cannot fully explain because I'm just going straight out to recording right now. But, uh, it's clear as stated. Um, the most important rule of this is just the creator, the person that's playing the Nuzlocke, well, is the one that can make their own rules, no matter what. They don't have to simply follow the classic basic rules of every other Nuzlocke, Wonderlocke, etc, etc. It's their choice of how, how the rules are set up. They can do whatever they want as they, as they make it challenging, that is all. And every other Pokemon we capture will be entitled Wonderlock. I play my own way of I play my own way of of doing the Wonderlock because I do not want any duplicate Pokemon. Or like the same old, same old copy Pokemon. Say for example, we catch a freaking young goose, right? I do not I just say that, oh, that's the Pokemon we catch. So if I send it off to Wonder Trade. Another young goose appears. I'm gonna say that's a dupes right there. That's how 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 I play the game. I'm not gonna be that guy that says oh oh this isn't, don't be that guy that says oh that's not how dupes class work blah, blah blah. I'm just like this is how I'm playing it. I don't want your sass in this. I don't want your backseat gaming. Like I said, in the rules they are entitled to their own rules. If I say dupes, this is my own version of dupes clause, then might as well be. Don't be a perfectionist on how. How the Nuzlocke works when it is entitled on the Wikipedia website saying they are entitled to their own rules. Now that you have, you can have, now that you have a Pokemon, you can have Pokemon about. I don't remember what the freaking dialogue was before before I was talking. You're what we call a Pokemon trainer. Here's a Pokeball for what Rowlet too. It should feel nice and cozy in there. I still don't think we're going to get that Wonder Trade access right now. Island Kahuna? Truth is, the partner, that partner, Rowlet of yours, is a gift from Kahuna, not me. So let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cousin. It may not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Be careful about getting into a battle with one. Note to self, bring lots of water bottles because my throat is going to be dying. Inky Town's right up there, here. Are we gonna meet up those Ultra Recon people as soon as we walk up there? Get around there in that Pokeball I gave you. I think the prologue lasts about an hour, I think. I'm not too sure. And we're going straight to a battle, but all rules the rules don't apply as soon as we start wander trading. That's the thing. 
So right now, this is just a normal playthrough until we actually get Pokemon to start with. Leaf Hitch, let's go. I'm so glad that during Gen 5 that they added the elemental, their freaking, their moves. Because you don't go, you have to wait until level 7 for the Pokemon to learn an elemental move. It was just straight up normal moves back to back, the regular tackle, scratch. Growl, Tail Whip, etc, etc. So I'm glad they did that after Gen 5. Oh yeah, didn't they like update, they remixed the freaking song? The background music? Yeah, we have not accessed that. We don't get a battle of trainer just yet, but we can get an item right now. We got a potion. Um, yeah, we're gonna be needing tons of- it's gonna be tons of grinding, tons of cheats here and there. Because I need the rare candies and, and the grinding will be a sass. It will be a hassle. And, yeah. Hey, hey! Which Pokemon are you gonna choose as your partner? Have you decided? Oh, yeah, I'm Hal. I couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find, my, find you myself. Did you even know who I was? <laughs> Whoa! Your Rowlet's so cool! Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Sorry about that, Hal. We had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Luna choose her. Choose her partner first without you. Fair enough. I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. Well, you can choose one of these two, Hal. That means he gets Pop Leo, right? Then my partner will be Pop Leo. I choose you! Alola, friend! I decided ages ago that you're the one I wanted to have an adventure with. We're gonna do much we're gonna do so much awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. We're going straight into a battle, aren't we? Professor, you'll take good care of Litton, right? You better believe I will, Hal. Alright then, Litton. Everybody, time to get back in your balls for now. Wait up! Me and Papalia have a favor to ask. Be our opponents in our first ever Pokemon battle together. Hold on. Hold on. Before you two step into the ring, let's make sure little Rallo's up to it. Alright. I'm seriously gonna enjoy this. Yeah, I think it was just a normal trainer battle that they, they updated. Challenge by Pokemon Trainer How. Yeah, send out Poplio. Yeah, you, I wonder, do they, do they, yo. I'm just gonna do a little what if right now, but then again, we kind of do need experience points, so never mind. Cause like, what happens if, if we lose? Like, I wonder what kind of dialogue we get. Cause like, you know how the original Pokemon game that, during when you battle Trainer Blue, like, if you lose, it's okay. <coughs> <coughs> that, you got a little cutscene that says blah blah blah, he won, blah blah. I wonder. Do we get that too? Oh well, let's see what happens. Water gun, straight ahead. Glad, glad I went for a tackle. Yo, I don't even know what kind of freaking Pokemon this is. Real quick. Uh, let's see. I think I have to see it later. Maybe. Because I want to see what kind of typing it is. Nature. Growl. Let's go. Wait, doesn't lose it. Oh, that's physical. Come on now. It would have been in the red, to be honest. Growl again. It's going to be in the red this time. Exactly. One more time. Bet. Never mind. <coughs> Later. There you go.
Our first defeat. Sorry, Pop Leo. Yeah, I forgot to add that one thing. Whoa, that was awesome, Luna! You and Riley were both so cool! You gotta like, have that kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too, you know? Right on, Luna! You and Hal both brought out the best of your partners and pulled out some spectacular moves. Yeah! Icky Thomas right up those stairs. Come on, Luna! You should totally check out Icky Town! Yeah, I think, I think we're gonna keep on going until it's the next day because... So that way we'll make more progress and we're gonna get that freaking... What is it? Antidote or something else? Another rat attack. <laughs> Leaf edge, please. Tail whip. One more. Well, yeah, first episode for anyone that's already in 20 minutes into this episode. If you don't know who I am, like I said, small YouTuber. I'm just laid back. I don't care. If I'm not taking this seriously. It's all casual. So don't be a backseat gamer if you're saying I'm doing this and that wrong. Oh, it's paralyzing. That answer, don't. Oh, well, either way, it's a medicine. It's a medicine. <clears throat> Yo, I wonder. Never mind. Icky Town. And we're here. This right here is Icky Town. The town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon and watches over Mele Mele Island. Tapu Koko keeps us safe and happy, see? Looks like the Kahuna is nowhere to be found, though. I guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing, yeah? Yeah, the Kuna wander off without a word to anybody, singing a little ditty or something. <clears throat> I'm gonna go stop by home for a sec. I gotta show my mom Poplio. Hey, I've got an idea for you, Luna. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. That's our island's guardian deity. Yeah. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? If you're real lucky, maybe you'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the Kahuna comes back. Okay, let's do what the professor says. Huh. Now yeah, there's like a few things that change. But this is one thing that... The chain... The order of freaking... Order of context or something like that. You're sp In Sun and Moon, you do this first and then you get your starter later. That is all. I wonder, did Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon had a demo? I don't recall. <clears throat> I know, I know. So please stay in the bag. We could get in trouble if anyone sees you. Let's check it out. Shall we go up there? Ah! What's wrong? <coughs> Help! Save Nebby! Yeah, I can't do a high-pitched voice no more. I could, but still. Those sparrows! The Spearow are attacking it, but I'm not a trainer, I can't. Please, please save Nebby. Wait, are we going into a battle? I don't remember. <clears throat> Excuse me? Okay, you want a bird fight? Bring it. I guess that's one thing that also changed as well. 
I seriously don't remember this. In Sun and Moon, that's for sure. Too bad we can't catch it. Leaf Edge, go! Pursue, why? Oh yeah, it's a freaking flying tap guy, and there goes my voice. Get rid of it. Get good riddance. <clears throat> and then that's where. No. Imagine to chase up one, one of the spear up, but there's still more. Are we gonna get battle all of them or what? Never mind, it's back to normal. Okay, we get it. Will you stop? Same cutscene. Yeah, we managed to beat one of them, but it's the same thing. You have to admit, that's kind of funny how he just beat up all those freaking... All those Spiros. Thank goodness, you tried using your power again, didn't you? Nabby, <clears throat> you know what happened last time you used it. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nabby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. What? What is that? A sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of the dangerous spot. I'm Lily. I suppose I suppose this some this stone must belong to you. <clears throat> Please, don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nabby. It's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much for me to ask it, but do you think you can see us back to town? Yeah. <coughs> Let's go. Oh, Luna, you already met Lily, huh? She's my assistant, yeah. Lily, I thought you were with, with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said that he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just um, taking a little stroll up Mahalo Trail wh while I waited f for him to return. <coughs> and that's how you met our new neighbor, Luna, huh? She just got to Alola yesterday. Help her find her way around, yeah? So you're also one of Professor's acquaintances. Nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hala's return! <coughs> I can't do their voice. Oh, that's gonna be a rough one for my throat. I can just tell. Have I missed something? 
There you are, Kunahala. Was there some kind of trouble? Aha! Just got caught up a bit of a sum brawling brawling. That's all. Oh, it's gonna be. <coughs> Sorry, Lily. <coughs> Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw a type of cocoa flying about. Uh, yes, Kunahala. <coughs> then we got attacked by a spear on the plank bridge. <coughs> The Luna here protected. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's garden deity swooped in to save them. Whew, that's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it's said to protect us, our top of Koku is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kokoi, my boy, I think we have a cause to celebrate. Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. I'm glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kakuna of Melamed Island. Welcome to our Lola. <coughs> Young Kukuya told me of your coming. I'm glad we got a chance to meet today. Oh, when did you get- Oh, when did you get out again? I know that Kakuna, Hala, and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should stay in the bag at a sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. Alright, here's a lovely gift for me to help make today special, Luna. Pokédex. A Pokédex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? That can automatically record facts about any Pokémon that you meet. Your p new partner, Rallis, will already register. Oh yeah, check it out! Hey, we got the trainer passport. Well, you got to meet a Kahuna at last. Ready to head home now, Luna? Oh. Yeah, we don't have the thing yet, so we'll end today's episode right here, ladies and gentlemen. Like, comment, subscribe, Shiraka's XD, and I'm signing out.